Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to list the top 10 best Chinese historical dramas of 2021 first half. You should check out if you've been looking for a drama to pick up. I'll also make a video of the top 10 best Chinese modern dramas and the top 10 best Chinese fantasy dramas in the first half of 2021. And if you don't want to miss that video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I upload it. I'm currently watching Asian Love Poetry, but feel free to let me know which historical drama you're currently watching at the moment in the comment section down below. The dramas on this list appear in no particular order and I just wanna get that out of the way. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 1. Word of Honor Starring Jang Johan and Simon Gung Word of Honor is a 36 episode drama that tells the story of Joseph Shu, who gets embroiled in a conspiracy in the martial arts world after quitting his job as a leader of an organization Along his way through Jiang Hu, he meets Wei Ka Xing, a mysterious martial artist who leaves the Ghost Valley to avenge his parents' death. They become soulmates and embark on a journey to find a legendary treasure that gives its own ultimate power over Jiang Hu. World of One is a low-budget bail drama, but it has amazing cinematography and the fighting scenes are beautifully done. One of the best selling points for this drama is the great chemistry between the main main leads. If you're looking for a good bail drama like The Untamed with great chemistry between the main main leads, or you're looking for a good wisha drama, Check out Word of Honor. Number 2. The Imperial Coroner starring Xu Chao Tong and Wang Zichi. The Imperial Coroner is a 36 episode drama that tells the story of Chu Chu, a young girl from a family of coroners who meets Prince Xiao Ching Yu, a dignified prince in charge of a criminal lawsuit who appears to be weak and sick, and together they manage to unravel a shocking case that dragged on for 18 years. And of course, they fall in love in the process. Just like Word of Honor, The Imperial Coroner is a low budget drama that became an instant hit when it premiered. I personally think this is the best detective drama this year. The characters in this drama are well written and the overall story is quite satisfactory. I also love the teamwork between the main leads and if you hate love triangles as I do, don't worry because that ain't the main point of this drama. There are no unnecessary misunderstandings that don't get explained. Number 3. Dual Continent starring Xiao Zhan and Wu Xuan Yi Dual Continent is a 40 episode drama that tells the story of Tang San, a young boy who lost his mother at a young age who grew up relying on his father just as much as his father relies on him. Tang San later gets sent to Shek Academy to cultivate his martial arts to become a great soul master and becomes good friends with Xiao Wu and other five students. Together, they form the seven Shek Devils and Tang San discovers the culprit that murdered his mother and their secret plot to destroy the nation. To prevent them from succeeding, Tang San teams up with his friends to fight a difficult war. The pacing and character development of Dwolo Continent are quite good. The drama makes you care about the main characters as it progresses. The drama has good CGI and for those asking about the ending, yes there's a second season. Number 4. My Hero Cast Band starring Goji Ling and Song Yi My Hero Cast Band is a 36 episode drama that tells the story of Ni Yi, a modern businessman who time travels to ancient times in a board of a man who's getting married into a family of cloth merchants. He later begins to incorporate modern methods and ideas to help his friends battle corrupt local businessmen. In the process, he becomes involved in the affairs of the country. If you're looking for a drama similar to Joe of Life, check out My Hero Casban. The ending of My Hero Casban is also a cliffhanger, but the good news is the production team announced there will be a second season. I love the speed and pacing of My Hero Casban. The drama doesn't drag beyond its purpose. It's worth mentioning this is a light-hearted drama that got many laughs out of me. There are also no misunderstandings between the main leads and no trope that we almost see in all Chinese dramas nowadays. If as someone who is into Chinese costume rom-com dramas or you're looking for a drama like Joy of Life, check out My Heroic Husband. Number 5. The Long Ballad starring the robber Liu Wu and Zhao Lusa. The Long Ballad is a 49 episode drama that tells the story of Li Changga, a girl who vows to avenge her parents' death when her family gets murdered by Li Ximing, the emperor of Tang, during the Shanwu Gate incident. She has to show province under the disguise of a man with hopes of raising an army to kill Li Ximing to avenge her family's death and she meets General Asina Sangu takes her in to serve him as his personal military strategist. The Long Ballad is a fast-paced drama and it doesn't drag. The robber, Liu Wu and Jalus also did a good job portraying their characters. The Long Ballad has a combination of comics and it's a political drama where different kingdoms fight for power. If you're looking for a good drama like Nirvana and Fire, check out The Long Ballad. Before I continue with the video, let me give a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN keeps my data safe from hackers and all data going to and from my computer is encrypted. When you download ExpressVPN, you will be able to change your location with one click of a button and watch geo restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Viki, Netflix and other websites. 
Express VPN is giving away 3 extra months for free and a 49% discount on a 12 month to viewers on my channel. All you have to do is use the first link in the description down below. Express VPN forward slash Chinese drama news. Number 6, Legend of Fei, starring Jia Yuling and Wang Yibo. Legend of Fei is a 51 episode drama that tells the story of Joe Fei, a martial arts nurture from a prominent family who runs away from home and travels across the land to cultivate her skills as she learns from different masters. She meets She Yuan, the son of the Quan Prince of the Southern Dynasty, who saves her from drowning and together, they fight the evil forces in the pugilistic world. Judging from the quality of the drama, you can tell the post-production team rushed editing this drama. The CGI is average and it was limited to a few scenes especially involving animals, but the soundtrack was nice and enjoyed the opening OST. If you're a fan of Jiayu Ling and Wang Yibo, check out Legend of Fei. Number 7. The Sword and the Brocade, starring Wallace Chang and Tang Song Yun. The Sword and the Brocade is a 45-episode drama that tells the story of a romance between General Shi Luing Yi and a concubine's daughter who got married through an arranged marriage. The Sword and the Brocade has a well-written OST and the production quality is quite good. The story of this drama is also realistic. It's not the type of drama where the main or female lead falls for each other at first sight. If you're looking for a drama to watch while having your mouth, check out The Sword and the Brocade. Number 8. The Internal Love 3, starring Ching Zhao Ling and Liang Jie. The Internal Love 3 is a 30 episode drama that follows the love story of Mo Lian Chang and Xu Xiao Ten. The Internal Love drama series released its first season back in 2017 and became an instant hit among Chinese and international fans. The Internal Love 3 is a light hearted, enjoyable drama to watch, though you haven't watched the first two seasons. It's worth mentioning there's a key scene between the main and female lead in every episode. The main selling point for this drama is the amazing chemistry between the main leads. Ching Zhao Ling and Liang Jie. Number 9. The Rebel Princess, starring Zhang Jia Yi, Zhou Yi Wei, and Tony Yang. The Rebel Princess is a 68 episode drama that tells the story of Wang Xuan, a Prime Minister's daughter who got married to General Xiao Shi through an arranged marriage. After marriage, they slowly develop feelings and loyalty for each other as they strive to become the most powerful rulers in the kingdom. The production value for The Rebel Princess is top notch in terms of costumes, weapons, and cinematography. If for someone who is into kingdom politics and power struggles, check out this drama. Number 10. Asian Love Poetry starring Jo Dong Yu and Shukai. Asian Love Poetry is a 49 episode drama that tells the story of Shangu, the leader of the four immortals who falls into a deep sleep after sacrificing herself in a trial that lasted 60,000 years. When she wakes up years later, her memories of the last 300 years are completely erased but her former lover Bai Jue never forgot and sacrificed his reincarnation and waited 60,000 years for her. Though Asian Love Poetry has mixed feelings online, I have to say this is the best Shinsha drama ever made in terms of its gorgeous CGI and cinematography. The storyline and acting of the main and supporting characters are quite good as well. If for someone who is into fairness and magic, check out Asian Love Poetry. This drama has got to be one of my favorite dramas of 2021, if I'm to be honest. Let me know which of these dramas you've started watching or you've completed in the comment section down below. I'm also going to upload a video of the top 10 best Chinese modern dramas and the top 10 best Chinese fantasy dramas in the first half of 2021. And if you want to get notified when I upload these two videos, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on screen right now. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.